friends welcome to technique this is normal here and in this video we'll do an faq on the samsung galaxy a50 so samsung galaxy a50 is the latest smartphone announced by company uh, under the a series and it comes with really good hardware it has uh, a super amoled display a triple camera setup a really good uh, selfie camera and a photos in image capacity battery with the latest version of android and samsung's one ui so in this video we'll uh, answer a lot of questions we have been getting on this device so let's get started first step let's have a look at the sensors available on this device so you can see that uh, this device comes with all the basic sensors magnetic sensor gyroscope light uh, proximity and all the sensors are available on this device generally samsung uh, misses out on few sensors in the sub 20k price segment but here we have all the sensors included on this device Next, let's move on to the display aspect. So the device comes with a 6.4 inches of full HD plus resolution display. And the important aspect about the display is that it is a super emulated panel. You can see that uh, the display colors are really vibrant, colorful, and uh, even uh, the viewing angles are really great. And touch response feels very smooth on this device. So overall, the display quality is really one of the best we have seen in the sub 20K price segment. So that's the display quality now talking about the gorilla glass or any added protection so as of now there is no gorilla glass support on the samsung galaxy a50 now next let's talk about the sim cards so the phone comes with the dual sim card support so we have the uh, dedicated sim card on the left side so it is uh, having two slots uh, for sim cards and a dedicated sd card slot so that means uh, it's a triple slot and this device supports dual voltage out of the box so you can use um, uh, dual 4G SIM cards and uh, uh, use this device without any issue. So that's the SIM card aspect of uh, the uh, Samsung Galaxy A50. Now talking about the storage variant. So this comes in two variants, uh, 464 and 6128 gigs of storage. Uh, we have uh, the 464 variant and uh, you can also expand the storage in case you want, uh, uh, if you want more storage, you can expand the storage using the micro SD card expansion slot. Now talking about the fingerprint scanner. So this is a first A series smartphone with the in-display fingerprint scanner. So we have done a detailed video on the in-display fingerprint scanner. We'll just demo it once again for you. So the, the in-display in fingerprint scanner is located uh, below this. So we'll just uh, show you a demo. So you can see that it's not the fastest out there. But it unlocks uh, without any sort of issues. And uh, you can see that uh, it's not the fastest out there. So we have seen in display fingerprint scanners on uh, the Vivo's uh, devices and even the recently announced uh, Oppo K1 but it's not as fast as those devices. Now talking about the face unlock so we'll just uh, test out the face unlock one time. So that's the face unlock on the uh, Samsung Galaxy A50. Now moving on the software. So again this is one interesting aspect of the Samsung Galaxy A50 because it has uh, the latest version of Android and on top of that this has the new One UI. So we have seen One UI on uh, the new Samsung devices so this is the new One UI you can see that uh, it is uh, more of a refreshing change with uh, uh, everything grouped together and uh, a bit more cleaner and clutter free UI from Samsung. So that's the software on the Samsung Galaxy A50. Now talking about the performance, so this device runs on an octa-core uh, Exynos 9610 chipset. It's 10 nm manufacturing process and uh, you can see the benchmark score. Uh, you can also see the individual benchmark score 52,000 for CPU and 37,000 for GPU score. And the total score is 1,33,000. That's uh, almost closer to uh, the Snapdragon 636 or uh, almost like Snapdragon 660 chipset. So that's the performance now talking about the gaming so we have done a detailed gaming video of this device found the gaming experience to be quite good uh, and uh, no major lags as such but uh, it was not the best out there but still uh, quite a good experience but it does have some heating issues almost like 46 degrees we got when uh, we did intensive gaming for almost like 40 minutes now talking about the batteries so the phone comes with a 4000 mAh sealed capacity battery and the battery capacity is definitely good and it has 15 watt fast charging supported and it takes uh, slightly less than 2 hours to charge the uh, 4000 mAh capacity battery that's the uh, time it takes uh, with uh, the default charger and the battery uh, performance also looks good we got almost like one and a half days of battery life with a screen on time of around 6 to 6 to 7 hours that's an average time we are telling it again depends upon uh, usage uh, and it depends upon user to user the apps you have installed so uh, the battery performance is actually pretty good and you can get one and a half days of battery life with the samsung galaxy a50 now let's move on to the speaker performance so we'll just uh, play a song uh, from uh, youtube's uh, library and i will uh, just show you the performance
So you can see that the speakers are quite loud enough for music playback. Now LED notification. So this device uh, we connected uh, it to a charger and uh, there's no LED notification available. Instead it has uh, the always on display. So if you have the device, you can use the always on display. Uh, you can configure it uh, from uh, the settings. Uh, so always on display is the one which is available on this device. So there is no LED notification available on the Samsung Galaxy A50. Now talking about the USB OTG, yes, this device does support OTG, so if you have the USB Type-C port, so if you have a USB Type-C OTG cable, you can connect your computer peripherals or uh, pen drives and other de devices to the device. Talking about the camera, so this device comes with a triple camera, 25 megapixel uh, uh, camera, that is uh, that's a primary camera, 8 megapixel wide angle camera and a uh, third uh, uh, 5 megapixel uh, depth sensing camera and on the front panel it has a 25 megapixel selfie camera. So we have done a detailed camera review of this device, you can also check out that video to get an idea about how, uh, how good the performance is. And here are some samples we have taken with the Samsung Galaxy A50. Now a few other questions we have been getting is uh, the SAR value. So the SAR value of the Samsung Galaxy A50 is the head SAR is uh, 0.335, that's the one mentioned in the manual of this device. Now camera 2 API is not supported on this device so we have uh, installed uh, uh, the camera 2 API and you can see that it's, it is having limited support on the A50. Now another question uh, we have got uh, is whether this device has Widewine L1 support. I can see that uh, security level is L1 so Widewine L1 is supported on uh, the Samsung Galaxy A50. So that was uh, the FAQs on the Samsung Galaxy A50. Hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you still have anything to ask, you can just drop a comment and we'll be glad to help you out with your questions. This is Namal signing off. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you in our next video. Have a great day.